that AI stuff and chat GPT is that we hear a lot about it because of what we're involved in, right? Like, right. like design, software development. We're like the first to get hip to a lot of this stuff when it comes out. And then the buzz that spreads around from what a lot of influencers start doing is, is when it spreads. But when you're using a service and it says, oh, it's time for you to enter an API key, like the the layman's people who don't program, it's like, right. what the hell is an API key? It, it scares yeah. them. So it, I, I, I think that right now is definitely like the wild, wild west for sure. But if you were a designer full time right now, would you be more worried about it? Or would you be more excited that it's like, hey, this is a cool new tool that's just going to make my life easier right. or it's going to be like, Hey, this thing's going to take my job and, and, and I need to start doing something else. Right. So like at this point in time, based on where things currently sit and there's a big if because, or like, there's a big question mark in the air because of that. I open AI's GPT fours, multimodal functionality and capability that's not released really, you know, and there's only maybe a, a, I don't know who has access to it. They haven't really revealed it. They just, state that they have access. I mean, they have it, but they haven't really like allowed any companies, maybe one company to use it, I think. And so the, the big question I have is, can you feed this thing like a UI design from Figma and will it accurately translate it and be smart enough to make it responsive and produce clean code? I'm going to make the assumption that when they reveal it, uh, they, they you, not reveal it, so to speak, but they, they open it up for public use. We start experimenting with it. It's not going to be perfect. Uh, but having said that, I do follow a lot of AI stuff and it's exponentially like getting smarter, especially if you allow it to kind of uh, update itself, so to speak. If that happens, then in the future, and this could be as soon as a year or two, I, uh, yeah, your job might be really, you know, at risk, but, and, but that would be the, kind of like the same thing for almost everybody in any industry for the most part. Yes. I, I mean, you have those robots too they, that have, you know, fingers and like, I've seen those, the, they're going to put AI in that. So the plumbers oh, yeah, won't be definitely. safe either. Yeah. <laughs> so no, no like, one's safe. No one's yeah, safe. Yeah. So here's the, here's the silver lining. We're not there yet. Yes. You should still keep learning how to design, learning how to code, because this is all just conjecture, a conjecture at this point, because right now, uh, yeah, everybody saw that that video where the guy has like this chicken scratch writing of a website, you know, on, on a piece of paper, and then they use their multimodal uh, image recognition to, to to print out the code. Well, that that right there that that doesn't really prove anything. I mean, it's not like it. It was just very simple. It was like a stacked. There was no columns. There was no like awesome design or anything. Yeah, when you get I, really into the details, it's yeah. Not and so, like, how that. smart is it going to actually be to to take a real polished layout, high fidelity, and know exactly how to cut it up and, and make it look good? Yeah. I uh, and, and then on the in the inverse, like if you're a UI designer, you know, and you you enter a prompt to tell you to make a website, like how how close is that going to you know is it going to adhere to fundamentals and and all this stuff? Like it's it's a big what if. And like I said, though, in a couple of years, you know, when it's exponentially smarter, if they, I can't say that they allow to, because the cat's out of the bag. So oh, yeah, yeah. I don't care about what laws you make. People are going to use it. It's the same thing For with sure. drugs. You make them illegal. Yep. People are still going to find a way to use it in the black market. So I, uh, <laughs> yeah, who knows? But we should operate in that mentality like, oh, I'm not going to learn this because it's just going to be worthless in a couple of years. I mean, it very well may not be. Uh, I think there's still going to be a, a need for people to understand uh, what solid UI UX design is, just like for there's sure. people who understand what good code is. Uh, but, you know, you don't know. I mean, we're talking about exponential. We can't wrap our minds around how yeah. smart this thing could be. It could really, yeah, it could wipe everything out. We don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then then everybody's screwed, like you said. Yeah. Like, no, yeah, exactly. no one is safe. I, I saw right. something, I think it was on Reddit, but it was it might have been on Twitter, but it was like this robot that they they made it do manual labor all day and it like collapsed from right. exhaustion or broke yeah. or whatever. I was just <laughs> like, then it's like, oh, see, right. robots can't even do yep. the, 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 the manual labor jobs yet. So You're I think right. we're still okay. I, uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I, you know, right when it, it came out, like Chat GPT released and was like public or, whatnot everybody jumped on the bandwagon of making a video and i did too and and it was just 
I knew it was a trendy topic. I was like, all right, I'll, I'll get a quick, quick video out. And I didn't know too much about it. And I was pretty much saying like, D you know, don't believe the hype. This isn't going to come for your jobs right away. And I still kind of stand by that. I, I still think yeah. that there's going to be a lot of jobs that are still going to need devs and designers and people who right. could be replaced technically by chat GPT. But then who's going to review the code? Who's going to actually set up right. these systems? And, and yes, you could have a lower paid individual do it, but do you really want some junior level developer that you paid 40 grand a year to just take right. code from chat GPT and create your stuff for you? Eventually it's, it's, it's not the right thing to do. And I think companies will know that now companies that have big budgets and they're cutting edge and they're getting into this now, like they're going to figure out ways that they can make more money from the, the product itself rather than, how they can start replacing employees because that creative process of building these products, AI can't or is not, not at the point where it can replace human right. creativity and to figure out how they can capitalize the most on it. And yeah, employees are your most expensive resource as a company, but I, I just, I see it being a long road before it's just like, oh, we don't need developers anymore. You know, right. this is what yeah. we want. The computer's making right. it for us. I've been hearing that, when I learned how to code six and a half years ago, it was don't learn how to code. It's oversaturated. There's too many developers. There's not enough right. jobs. It's hard to get a job as a junior. You need a college degree, all that stuff. And I was still able to do it. And yeah, times are changing. But like I, I made a tweet. I was like, I wish I had chat GPT when I was learning how to code because yeah. it's your own personal mentor. It's it can right. it can help you with so much stuff. It can fill that void of not having a, a, a developer that you can talk yep. to. You literally can do that with chat GPT and it's pretty good with the code stuff right now. So yeah, I wish I had it when I was learning how to code and I think people should be taking advantage of it right. and not being scared of it, but rather adopt it and, and see how it can help them in their yeah. career or, you know, learning process. Yeah. Like I, an another thing that when it first came out, I, Somebody I first like read the term prompt engineering. I'm like, what is this crap? Are you serious? Like, you can't be serious. And then like, I, I'm starting to realize like, especially when you're working with something like mid journey, like trying to get the resulting image to be what you want it to be actually takes some skill. I, uh, and, and th it, they're becoming more complex in terms of the input that you can enter. Uh, so like a mid journey, like understanding how to prompt engineer so to speak like that's that's going to be something that's going to grow uh and it's going to take some skill although at the same time as the ai is in, improving like it's going to get better at kind of understanding what you want yeah so yeah, we have interesting times ahead you know i mean prompt engineering jobs for three hundred thirty thousand dollars. i'm going to imagine <laughs> that's probably on the development side they're not just probably it typing in prompts and making 300 yeah you, you better at least know how to how to maybe they <laughs> want the prompts from an api right like that that's a prompt engineer i would yeah, hope not someone yeah. who just put it yeah right. puts it together